Hello, my name's Olivia and I'm a designer. I am normally responsible for creating the visual world of a play. I work in theatre and on large scale immersive projects. So today I've decided that we can make our own miniature theatre and the world of the play within it. This is one that I've created earlier for Little Red Riding Hood. So I will run through the process of creating our miniature theatre and then you can choose a story that you want to put in your box. I hope you enjoy this. To make the miniature theatre, what you'll need is all of the stuff below which should already be in your art kit or an art kit that you've had before. So we have got some wool, some coloured felt, some A5 pieces of paper, some card, a flattened box, some paints, some scissors, a rubber, some pens, paint brushes and pencils, some sticks, we're using skewers for this, and some kind of tape. So, we are going to take this box and we're going to draw around the emblems here. So we're going to draw a box around these emblems. I'm going to use this pen and I'm going to use this as my ruler. And then we're going to take the two flaps, so this flap here and this flap here, and we're going to do two more boxes. So, so then you are going to have three boxes. You've got a box there, you've got a box there, flip it over, and you've got a box there. What you want to do next is just draw across through each of these and we are going to cut these shapes out. So we have our crosses, a line from corner to corner and what we're going to do now is just take a bit of card, place it underneath because you're going to have to pierce this and you might need a little bit of help from someone here. You can take your pencil, which is quite sharp, pierce that, make a hole, go right through, okay. And then from there, I'm going to take your scissors and cut there. And what are they going to do the next bit? We've got our, our little envelope pieces. Now we're going to go into that corner, cut there. Into that corner. as you can. this side and this side. So squish it down again. And place your card underneath. So 
they say on all of these I've left a frame of about two centimeters two centimeters and then a little bit bigger on this one so when you've done all of your flaps you are going to get your box and put this flap in here like so then you're going to take your cello tape put a tab here to close it and then don't worry too much if you go over the edges just fold it round and then you can do the same here And then repeat on the other side. And there you have your little theatre box. And these are the side entrances where your characters are going to come in. This way is a more 3D curtain and it's coarser tuned like a fan. And this way is a slightly simpler version of the curtain and I have just drawn it on with a marker pen, cut out the outline and added the detail of the wool. So we're going to grab our bit of red felt. So we're going to measure this up again. This is pretty much the right size. This time you want it to be the size of your box. So just make a little mark there. And a little mark there. Now, again, if you don't feel confident just cutting a straight line, you can always get your ruler. This is my makeshift ruler and your pen and just mark from tab to tab. You're gonna take your piece of felt and just cut down the line. And then you wanna take your pen and draw a little curtain on here. And your curtain can look however you want. You want to leave quite a wide gap here because that's where your characters are going to play in. So for me, I'm going to do a little frill on this. So that's my fringe of my curtain. And I'm going to do a little squiggle here. And then so, a little squiggle here. But you can do your question however you want. I might even add a little bit of wool to it, just to add a bit of detail. So once we've cut the shape out, if we grab our wool and then you just want to, again, do a little length of it, do another length of it, and then tie it around here so you're giving the impression You've got a little curtain that's held together. There we go. Oop. Just 
Okay, and then we'll do it for this one. So when you finished making your curtains, you're going to take your tape, cut three tabs, and then you're going to lay your curtains onto your box, like so. And then we're going to just stick them down with our sellotape. So we're going to put a tab here. You could do it on the underside. Then tab here. Again, if you do it on the underside, it's probably better. And then a tab. Here. And voila, we have our curtains. So the next stage is to create a sign for our theatre. So have a little think about what name you want to give your theatre. It could be a fantastical name, it could be fairly simple, it could have your name in it, and then think about what kind of shape and colour you want your sign to be. For this one I'm just doing a traditional scroll so I will go through it in high speed with you. Your sign needs to fit in between the curtains and rest on the top of your theatre framework. Now we have our little theatre framework. We've got our curtains and we've got our sign. We need to think what we're going to put into our theatre. What story do we want to create? You can use stories that you've learned at school, stories that you've heard at bedtime, stories that you've made up from your imagination, anything you want. For me, one of my favourite stories is Little Red Riding Hood. So I am going to create the little world of Little Red Riding Hood. So what I want to do first is to create a backdrop for this. And a backdrop is basically the scenery that you'll have for your characters to play in. So what you want to do to create the background for your world is take an A5 piece of paper, which is in your art kit, and this will slot in to here, like that. so. Okay, now on this piece of paper, you'll be drawing the world that your characters are going to inhabit. For me, that's going to be a forest. So I'm going to paint it on and then stick my picture of a forest into my theatre box. So I've already done one and for that I have used a pencil, a pen, a rubber just in case it goes a little bit wrong and then I have just coloured it in with the paints that we have. So this is the right way up. This is um, the forest that I've made to go inside my theatre box. So I so I've thought about what I wear, where I want my character to go. So Little Red Riding Hood, you have a forest, and Little Red Riding Hood goes through the forest where she meets the big bad wolf, but she's going through the forest to bring her grandmother a basket of goodies. So my backdrop is going to go in here, like this, and it fits perfectly. So there is the theatre space and I have decided that I don't want my floor to be made of cardboard so I'm adding the detail of a grassy meadow floor. So what I've done is I've taken a piece of the coloured paper and I have created some grass and I'm going to slide this in 
here. So there we go. I've slid in my grassy meadow. And then I've decided that I want a little bit more depth. So I've made some trees. So these trees, they're just some branches and they are going to go in my third space. Come sir. You one like here. And maybe another tree here. So I have added a few more trees. And now my scenery has been done. And I'm going to think about the characters that I want to add to this. Now for Little Red Riding Hood, I have drawn out two characters. One of them is Little Red Riding Hood and one of them is the wolf. Here are my two characters. Here is my Little Red Riding Hood and here is my wolf. And what I'm going to do so that I can move them within the set is I'm going to add two sticks to them. So, here we go. I'm going to flip them over. And I'm going to add a stick here. A bit of sellotape and one of my cocktail sticks. Mr. Wolf. Okay, so now my characters, I can move them about on a stick. And here's Mr. Wolf. And they are going to come through the gaps of your theatre space. So now I have got my theatre set, and this is for. Little Red Riding Hood, so I've got some trees coming out of the foreground and I've got my forest in the background and some grassy flooring and I want to introduce my characters, Mr. Wolf and Mr. Wolf is going to come in, he's going to hang out there. Hello. And then I have Little Red Riding Hood, who is on her way to see her grandma. And bumps into the wolf. So I have my characters, I have my backdrop, and I have my theatre, and I can make a little play up now. And I would suggest that you guys do the same. So I hope you have fun with your theatre space. Remember, you can always invite anyone you want to come and see it. You can make up stories. You can play around with stories you've heard. This is your own little world to play with.